Wall Street analysts have a positive outlook on NVIDIA and a more cautious stance on Palantir. Consulting firm PwC estimates that artificial intelligence AI will contribute over $15 trillion to the global economy by 2030. Investors looking to benefit from this are heavily investing in AI stocks, with NVIDIA, NVDA, and Palantir Technologies, PLTR, being two of the most popular choices. In the past two years, NVIDIA's stock has surged by 728%, while Palantir's stock has gained 348%. However, Wall Street analysts predict that these two stocks will move in opposite directions over the next 12 months as follows. NVIDIA's median target price of $150 per share suggests a 26% increase from its current price of $115. Palantir's median target price of $28 per share indicates a potential 20% drop from its current price of $35. Let's dive into what investors need to know about these AI stocks. Before we begin, this video is not an investment advice and must do your own diligence. However, with my experience investing for years, the content from this video has a solid research foundation. Check our patron on the description below for an inside members-only access on what are the best buys now. We will also update you on what to sell for gains or to avoid losses. Subscribe to our channel so you will never miss out. NVIDIA NVIDIA is widely known for its graphics processing units, GPUs, which have become the industry standard for accelerating complex tasks in data centers, such as training machine learning models and running AI applications. In March, Forrester Research said, NVIDIA sets the pace for AI infrastructure worldwide. Without NVIDIA GPUs, modern AI wouldn't be possible. However, NVIDIA's strength goes beyond just GPUs. The company offers a full-stack computing platform that includes hardware, software, and services. NVIDIA has established itself as a leader in generative AI networking technology, and its first server central processing unit, CPU, is expected to grow into a multi-billion dollar product line, according to CEO Jensen Huang. Additionally, NVIDIA's software and services business is projected to reach a $2 billion annual revenue rate this year, fueled by its AI enterprise offering. NVIDIA AI Enterprise is a software platform that simplifies data preparation, model training, and the development of AI applications. It provides frameworks for specific tasks such as conversational agents, recommendation systems, and autonomous robotics. NVIDIA delivered strong financial results for the second quarter of fiscal year 2025, which ended in July 2024. Revenue jumped by 122% to $30 billion, driven by strong demand for AI hardware and software. Meanwhile, non-GAAP earnings soared by 152% to 0.68 cents per diluted share. More importantly, the company is well positioned to continue this momentum. NVIDIA's next-generation data center GPUs, known as Blackwell, are expected to launch later this year, generating a lot of excitement in the market. Earlier this year, CEO Jensen Huang stated, the Blackwell architecture platform will likely be the most successful product in our history. Looking ahead, Wall Street anticipates NVIDIA's adjusted earnings will grow by 49% annually through fiscal 2026, which ends in January 2026. With that growth potential, NVIDIA's current valuation of 54 times adjusted earnings seems justified. Long-term investors should consider purchasing a small position in NVIDIA stock today. Palantir Technologies Palantir specializes in data analytics software. Its platforms help businesses manage data, develop machine learning models, and integrate digital assets into applications to improve decision-making. Palantir's key software products, Foundry and Gotham, act as operating systems that connect data, decisions, and operations. They are used for a variety of applications, including managing supply chains, reducing financial risks, and optimizing manufacturing. Last year, Palantir introduced support for large language models and generative AI within its platforms, Foundry and Gotham, through a new offering called the Artificial Intelligence Platform, AIP. Palantir also shifted its sales strategy to focus on AIP, launching AIP bootcamps 
events where potential clients can learn how to use AIP on their own data within just a few days. In August, Forrester Research recognized Palantir as a leader in AI and machine learning platforms. Analysts noted that, Palantir is quietly becoming one of the largest players in this market. Palantir earned the highest score for its current product offerings, though competitors Alphabet and C3.ai received better marks for their growth strategies. Palantir's financial results in the second quarter were encouraging. The company's customer count rose by 41% reaching 593, and the average customer spent 14% more compared to the previous year. As a result, Palantir's revenue grew by 27% to $678 million, marking its fifth consecutive quarter of accelerating growth. Non-GA app net income increased by 80% to 0.09 cents per diluted share. Looking ahead, CEO Alex Karp remains optimistic about the company's growth potential. The continued strong demand for our software, which provides an effective enterprise platform that makes AI useful for large organizations, shows no signs of slowing down. However, valuation remains a challenge. Wall Street expects Palantir's adjusted earnings to grow at 22% annually through 2025. Yet at its current valuation of 109 times adjusted earnings, the stock appears expensive. Many analysts agree with this outlook and a price correction may be on the horizon. Investors should consider reducing their positions in Palantir. Give us a like if you like our video, subscribe and ring the bell to never miss out. Check our patron for an inside look on what are the best buy and sell stocks every week.